Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to our report for Saturday, September 28, 2019. Final Saturday of September for college football. We'll get to all that talk. We'll get to a free college football play in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you have yet to take advantage of the discount for the rest of the football season, which includes college football and the NFL, be sure to do so before the discount ends. 33% off the rest of the football season. Again, that's college football and NFL. You don't have to purchase just separately. Go to my homepage at DocSports.com if you want this uh, discount. Click on the football season package and then you'll be asked to enter a code. Well, that code is FB season 33. FB season 33. All one word. 33% off rest of the football season, college football and NFL. And again, take advantage now before the discount goes back to the regular price. You remember last year, first couple of weeks, we were so-so. Then we caught fire and just had a tremendous run the rest of the year. We ended up number one in college football and NFL combined. As we speak right now, we had a nice weekend last week in the NFL. Good three and one week, picked up about eight and a half units or thereabouts. Overall, since last Saturday, we have picked up almost 26 units of profit just since last Saturday. We've made a profit unit-wise the last two weekends in college football, the last two Saturdays. NFL, two of the first three weekends, we've made a profit unit-wise. And this is where we kick it into gear now as we get into week four NFL, week five college football. Love this time of year on the gridiron. And again, that rest of the season discount is available still as we speak. Again, that code, F be season 33 and uh, it's over at DocSports.com right now 33% off rest of the football season I've still got all, all excuse me all eight plays to go this weekend I uh, had no premium picks on Thursday or Friday we did have the free pick winner here on Memphis on Thursday night and the free pick winner that we have for Friday well Duke and Virginia Tech are kicking off as we speak told you we were going to come to you early so we can get you a play for Saturday and have plenty of time to watch the video and get down on this game if you happen to agree with me. We'll give you that in just a second. Uh, but first, a quick note, seven unit play for Saturday still has yet to go. It is part of the eight play package, five plays on Saturday, three plays in the NFL, including Monday Night Football, including our fourth six unit play of the football season. We're perfect three and oh with our six unit plays this football season. We cashed another seven unit last week easily with Washington over BYU. So eight plays in all, Still to go Saturday, Sunday, and Monday night, all available, including the seven-unit college football play, the six-unit NFL play. I'm not sure we're going to be in baseball action on Saturday. Uh, here's the thing. We're jumping into our handicapping uh, after tonight's games, after the Friday night games. And as I said, I'm coming to you a little bit early on Friday. But I will jump into Saturday's games late Friday night. So what you do, go over to DocSports.com, check out my homepage, and you'll see whether or not we're going to be in action. If we are, those plays will be posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. There's a couple of great spots on Sunday in Major League Baseball, but not so much on Saturday, so it might have to be a pass. WNBA, they've been off for a few days. Playoffs resume on Sunday. I'll be in action. Uh, we are on 18 and 8 and 44, 23 and 2, winning runs in the WNBA. NASCAR, by the way, will be posted Saturday night, no later than 11 p.m. Pacific for Sunday's race. You know how red hot we've been there. Nine and one, our last 10 NASCAR races. And now, since early May, 16 and 4, 80% winners with our NASCAR bets. And we are up over $5,500 for those wagering just $100 per unit. So again, NASCAR will be available 11 p.m. Pacific on Saturday night for Sunday's race. Let's get to the free pick uh, for Saturday. It is a Big 12 clash. You got Iowa State in Waco to take on the Baylor Bears. Cyclones lay in three in this one. We think that the wrong team is favored here. We actually think the game should be Pickham and maybe even Baylor minus one when we break down the matchups. We are a huge Brock Purdy fan, the quarterback for Iowa State. We're a bigger Matt Rule fan, the coach for the Baylor Bears, who's slowly turning things around in Waco. They're off to a 3-0 start. Last week, you got to give the Cyclones credit. They come off the tough one point loss to Iowa about a 17 point favorite against UL Monroe and really instead of going through the motions and being flat they put 72 on the board against Monroe easily covered the spread they won by 50 plus points 
Baylor, what I like about this matchup and I like about this line and where the public is going with it is that Baylor looks like, if you look at the scoreboard, struggled against the Rice Owls. But they were up. They had 21 at halftime. They're up by a couple of touchdowns. Uh, they had a ridiculous total yardage advantage at the half, uh, something like 320 to 90 in that neighborhood. And then they left their foot off the gas. There's no doubt about it. But what that's done for this week has given us value on this home underdog. And we're back in the Baylor Bears here. We think they're going to be a little too tough for the Cyclones going on the road. I like Brock Purdy, but I think Baylor is going to be able to outduel them here. I think Baylor ends up winning the game by about a touchdown to 10 points, and we're getting three points with the Baylor Bears as the home dog. So our free pick for Saturday is Baylor plus the points over Iowa State. Don't forget about Saturday and Sunday and Monday's football. All eight plays that I have this week still to go. Saturday, five college plays, seven unit play. Uh, Sunday and Monday, three and a NFL plays, including the six unit play. You can't miss out. You don't want to miss out. 65 and 42 run in the NFL, 36 and 26, and 116, excuse me, 160 and 116 long term in college football. Go grab all eight plays, and we'll be right back here on Saturday. Again, we're going to try to come to you a little bit early on Saturday so we can get you play for Sunday's NFL. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column right back here bright and early Sunday morning more likely Saturday night we'll talk to you then